Early in the film, young Michael and his parents move into an old house. Michael's mother was expecting a child. Michael's parents were delighted with the imminent arrival of their child. As a result, Michael was ignored. And this angered Michael. Michael's parents arrive and start decorating the child's room. Classmates at school make fun of Michael. Because Michael has a phobia of heights. Due to this, he could not jump from the swimming platform. But one of Michael's friends is shown accompanying him. He runs away all the boys who harassed him. Michael finds a cute little mouse. And when Michael sees this, he gets curious and starts following her. And after following her, he reaches the barn next to the house. Michael finds it strange to walk around in this barn. And he also heard a voice. Because of this, Michael panics and runs home. When Michael comes home, he is shocked and tells his mother everything. At that time Michael's mother's condition was even worse. And Michael gets worried and calls the ambulance. Michael's mother gave birth to a premature baby in the hospital. And Michael was glad to see his sister. The child was hospitalized for several days. Returning home, Michael tells his father about the barn. But they did not find anything when they went to investigate. After that several days passed. Michael then asks the neighborhood kid about the barn. And Michael enters the barn with his help. Upon entering the barn, he finds a strange person there. This man makes Michael look sick and poor. And Michael is surprised to see her. Returning home, he tries to tell his father about her. But Michael's father was worried about his child. Michael could not share it with his father and told it to his friend. But his friend took their swimming competition seriously. That's why he asks Michael to join the competition and leaves. But Michael was worried about the situation. Upon his return home, Michael meets his neighbor, but does not speak to him because he is awkward. Michael then goes to the barn to meet a strange man. Michael tries to help her, but the man refuses. The next day, Michael goes to the hospital to see his parents and his sister. But his sister's condition was bad. Michael meets an old woman in the hospital, sees her terrified and starts talking to her. Michael tells him about his sister. During the conversation, the old lady gives Michael the grapes. And they say don't worry everything will be fine. Then at night the food was brought home. And Michael goes to the barn to give leftover food to the poor. And the man happily eats the food given to him. Michael noticed that the man's back was strange. And he's got little wings in there too. Michael talks about the poor man when the old man goes to the hospital. Grandma tells Michael that you should help this man. And she gives Michael a grape again. After this Michael's sister goes home. Michael is happy to meet his sister. And being happy he brings food and medicine for that person. So that he will get well soon. And the man starts recovering from medicine. The one Michael once played with his friend suddenly learns that something bad has happened in his house. And he runs home. And he learns that his younger sister is not well. He was taken to the hospital. And Michael gets sad again. And he becomes aggressive in the bush. And that. Strange man also understands Michael's depression. Meanwhile, Michael's neighbor arrives. To make Michael feel better, she takes him to the lake. An old tower stood on the bank of the lake. And Michael's neighbor starts talking to him. And that makes Michael feel good. And Michael learns that his sister has a heart problem. There was nothing Michael could do to save his sister. That's why he was always worried. He hopes that maybe that stranger will be able to help him in all this. And he goes to the man and tells him everything about his sister. He tells her that please save my sister. I know you have the power to fix everything. And on hearing this the man does that all human beings and animals, old and young, all will have to die one day. That's why I can't help you save your sister. When Michael hears this he is furious and he leaves. The next day, Michael forces his neighbor to visit the man. The girl sees this person and gets curious. After all who is he? Michael's sister is not doing well and so his father becomes depressed. They proceed to destroy the barn. But Michael jumps on the bed and falls from the ceiling. 
In this way, he prevents his father from entering the barn. The next day, Michael meets the old woman again. The old woman notices Michael's concern. She encourages Michael to tackle life's challenges. The doctors here say that this girl has a heart problem that cannot be treated. When Michael's father cleans the house at night, he goes back to finish the barn. Even after Michael stops, he does not stop. Michael leads the man out of the burning shed. He hides the man in a tower with the help of a neighbor. Surprisingly, after Michael helped this person, Michael started getting on well with him too. His father tells him that children, as long as he is with us, he can live well. And they decorate the girl's room. After this the girl was brought home. And they start living happily. Michael and his neighbors go to help the poor by collecting food. And he was getting better because they both took good care of him. Later this person says that my name is Skellig and I am not a human but a creature. I have been here since humans first appeared on Earth. He also shows them his wings. Those who are broken and skilling slowly recovered. One day he sees Michael's burnt hand. Michael's hand was forged when he saved Michael Skellig from the fire. Later, Skellig grabs Michael and his neighbor's hand. Because of this they start flying. And then Michael and the girl wipe off Skellig's wings. And they like him. Michael and his neighbors left. And Michael learns that his hand has healed. He learns that Skilling is a magical creature. The next day, Michael's sister had surgery. He asks Skilling for help and immediately contacts him. Please do good to my sister. But Skilling says I can't help. An angry Michael goes to the hospital to see the old woman. But he learns that he died last night. Then Michael remembers talking to the old lady. He said that if you are a good person, then good things will happen to him. You will never forget your humanity. Michael turns to Skilling again. To ask him for help. To save his sister from his magic. Michael's friend lost a competition at school because Mikkel didn't go. Enraged, he goes to find Michael. He saw Michael walking towards the tower. Enraged, he turns to Michael and asks what's in the tower. Michael says he will tell you everything later. My sister is in the hospital and she needs me. So Michael's friend leaves. Michael turns to Skilling again. He says you are a good person and can cure my sister. Skilling says I can't help you. According to Michael, this is not true. He says this world is built on faith and hope. I will restore your faith. Michael climbs to the top of the tower instead of being afraid of heights. In the hope that, if he jumps from there, Skellig will save him. And Michael jumps from there. Shocked, Skellig spreads his wings and rescues Michael. He saves Michael from falling. Later, they fly away from the shore of the lake. And the boy brought the man back to life. He gave her hope that there are many people in the world who need Skilling's help. After that, Skilling finds his life feeling like it's first. They have been flying for a very long time. Meanwhile, Michael falls asleep. After safely rescuing Michael, Skellig goes to the hospital to see Michael's sister. He magically puts Michael's mother to sleep. He picks up the little girl with his hands. And heals the sick girl. This is shocking even to doctors. The next day, Michael's neighbor wakes him up and he runs to his sister. Seeing her sister well, her eyes fill with tears of joy. He knows it's because of Skilling. His parents were also pleased. Michael names his sister the old lady. He will never forget the man who gave him faith and hope. And he encouraged others to help. Now they are a happy family. After this, Michael met his friend to clear the misunderstanding. At the same time, he apologizes to them. Michael and his neighbor walk back to Skilling. They applaud Skalik by serving him his favorite wine and food. Skilling says Michael I have to go now. Because you gave me courage. I will help those who need me. This beautiful film ends with this happy ending.